Well, good morning, members. Um, can we make a start, please? Um, do we have any apologies? Morning, members. Thank you, Chairman. Yes, we have apologies from Councillor Diggle, Councillor Drybra, Councillor Nicol, Councillor Ogilvy. I also expect Councillor Martin to join you before the first candidate, which would enable him to take part in proceedings. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Um, uh, Councillor Carruthers. Just an advance apology. I've got to leave the meeting at some point today and I'll not return. So. Just so you're aware, probably after the first and the way it's looking. So, well, I know it's going to take place. I'm not be asking questions. I've took advice already, but I'm here, so I'll be here for the first one without asking questions. Then I'll be leaving after that, probably. Right. Uh, I, I've, I've had some informal governance advice, and I understand that if you're not here for the whole time, you, you shouldn't really be asking questions, and I think you understand that. Yep, um, that's right. I understand that, Chair, and I'll, I'll apply that. Just, just to confirm clearly uh, for members, uh, to determine if they have uh, reasons uh, either planned or unplanned to leave the meeting, uh, that's unexpected. Certainly the intention is that all members need to be here at the start of the meeting. Any member who has not, uh, who has left during the proceedings at any point when you've interviewed the candidates quite clearly, A, if they know that, they can't be in a position to ask any questions. Secondly, they're not in a position to take part in the vote. Thank you. Um, move on to item two, declaration one procedure. Yeah, so just a, word, a bit of clarity then, because we're going to take a decision to hold this in, in private. And that should only be the members of this committee, is my understanding. Not, not council, because that would mean any council officer could come into any committee, irrespective. Councillor. Councillor. Yeah, well, no, it is the matter. I'm asking an advice here, no you. Sorry. So, where do we sit on that? Can you just sorry, noise the, Just repeat the question, please, Councillor Ferguson. Thank the, you. Yeah. We're, we're about to take a decision to hold things in, in, in camera, in private. It's private business. So that should only be the members of this committee that actually hear that. No one else should be in the room. Just confirm that it is uh, permissible for a member with the approval of the chairman uh, to join an exempt item. Right. Well, so are, are we clear that the, the chairman's decision is that he, he is happy with this process? Yes, uh, with, the, with the caveats that the officer has outlined that a member who's here and knows he's going to be leaving um, can't ask any questions. To be clear on the earlier question, just to reaffirm in light of Councillor Dyke's comment, just to, to confirm that quite clearly there's two positions here. There are members of the committee and there are members who are Councillor Ferguson referring to who are not members of this committee. All members are entitled to take part, to, sorry, to attend meetings, both public and exempt meetings. Okay. Any more clarification required? Right. Uh, okay, item two, declarations of interest. Are there any? None. Um, item three, any other business deemed urgent by the chairman due to the need for a decision? I have none. No. Item four, Local Government Scotland Act 1973, consider adoption of a resolution to exclude the public from the meeting in terms of section 50A. Four and paragraph one of part one of schedule seven A to the Local Government Scotland Act nineteen seventy three. Agreed. Um, I should also ask if you are agreed agreeable to record these proceedings. Mm -hmm. 